Today we're going to look at Iowa State quarterback Brock Purdy, and we're going to look at the potential that he has to be one of the best quarterbacks in the Big 12 and to take the next step in his overall development. And we're going to get, look at the game film from the game against Baylor as it showed several things that he does well, but also had uh, he had three interceptions, so it had some of the things that he struggles with and some of the things to uh, improve on. But before we dive into the actual film, I want, you, I want to encourage you to consider subscribing to our channel if you like any quarterback-related content, whether it's film breakdowns like this, quarterback competition updates, or whatever it may be. If it's related to the quarterback position, it's fair game here. So before we dive into the actual film, the few things we're going to look for are, one, the improvements that he can make to be a better quarterback is, one, just not forcing the ball and taking what the defense gives you. Uh, sometimes he'll, he'll, he'll stand in and make a throw that's not there, uh, roll out and make a throw that's not there. So just forcing the ball as opposed to taking what the defense gives you. And then two, you'll see on the flip side, whenever he does take what the defense gives him, uh, he's a much successful quarterback. And that's when the deep shots kind of open up downfield that he's know of with those or that he's known for, for those big plays. So look for him to take what the defense gives him. He has uh, mobility in his lower half as well to, when the, play, when the play breaks down, he can throw on the run or take off and scramble. So that's another threat that he has. So again, one of the best quarterbacks in the Big 12, and he can take the next step and be even better this year uh, with some improvements. So enough of me talking. Let's look at the game against Baylor from 2020 and dive into some of the film, and we'll, rock, we'll wrap it back around on the backside. Here's another great example of Craig taking what the defense gives you. Gives you it gets, gets him a first down as well. We see... Uh, he's going to hit his receiver down the bottom of the screen for a five-yard uh, hitch, but it becomes a first down. Look how far the defender is playing off, over 10 yards. He slips as well. Party with a good throw. The receiver is able to pick up a first down there. Again, very simple play, but you get 10-plus yards. Take it every time. Let's watch it from this angle here. Good read by Purdy. Taking what the defense gives you is what leads to uh, offensive success, especially from the quarterback position. Good job there. Ends up being a big 10, 12-yard play. When Purdy makes these type of throws and reads, I think is when he's actually at his best. Yes, you can make the big-time plays. That's always going to be the, the big-time throws. But taking what the defense gives him uh, allows those big-time throws to, to come. Blitzing guy right there replaces where the, blitzy, where the blitzer is coming from, able to pick up a first down there. It looks very simple. That's a solid 10-yard gain that keeps drives going. Let's watch it from this angle here. So again, when Prey takes the defense gives him and is able to sustain drives, the big plays will continue to happen, uh, but those unwanted and those mistakes will get cleaned up. Here's Purdy taking what the defense gives him again. Got a nice little rollout, hits his tight end. Just a few yards down, line, down the field, excuse me, ends up being another first down. So again, taking what the defense gives you leads to success and just Showing example after example of when Purdy does that, uh, Iowa State's able to drive down the field. This is kind of this is what helped with their comeback to win this game. Actually, this take when the defense gives you making the simple plays. So here's Purdy making a pretty tough throw look easy. It's not a very big window. We'll watch it one time and kind of rewind it. Good quick ball there. Very confident in his throws and his ability to make those type of throws. So again, we we'll get this slant here. We're gonna watch both angles. Not a big window, fits it through, gets a first down. Not a very, not much space at all to fit that ball through, but he's able to do that because of his confidence in himself, which you know, every great quarterback needs, and something that makes Purdy very good is just his confidence in his ability. But look at this tight window here. Not a very big window at all. Here, here, has to fit it through here. It does a good job not leading him into the, into the defender either. Hits him in his gut. Picks up a first down. If you keep taking what the defense gives you, it eventually leads to plays like this, what Purdy's known for. Good ball downfield. Touchdown. Boom. Let's, let's go back just a few more seconds. Actually, that's my fault. So, again, they've been doing kind of a dunk throw after dunk throw. Little wheel route. Good ball by Purdy. Touchdown there. So this is a third and seven, a big time point in the game. Uh, and this is a hell of a throw by Purdy. And yeah, it's downfield and a big throw, but it's also an example of taking what the defense gives him. Uh, but being able to make this type of throw uh, is definitely what helps separate Purdy to being one of the better quarterbacks in the Big 12. So we're going to see the safety blitz right through here. And this receiver is running a deep uh, comeback or hook route here. Purdy stands in it, throws it exactly where the safety came from, like we saw earlier in this video, 
and makes a big time throw for a first down there. This is when Iowa State's up by seven in the fourth quarter with not a lot left in the game. So a big time throw to extend the drive, but a great example to take when the defense gives him. It just happens to be a tough throw that he's able to make. So here comes a safety blitzing. Sees it, throws it to where the safety normally would be. First down, big time play in the game. Prairie's ability to make plays with his legs while keeping his eyes downfield. Uh, again, something that helps separate him. And as long as he you know, doesn't force the ball, it is one of his big parts of his game. Here's a receiver coming downfield. Does a good job escaping pressure. Keeps his eyes downfield. Running but does a good job getting open. Leads to a big play there. Uh, part of Purdy's game that uh, helps him and will continue to help him develop and is why he's one of the best quarterbacks in the Big uh, 12. Uh, it's just choosing to make throws like this as opposed to forcing it. And Purdy does a nice job here. We'll watch it one more time. No one open. Eyes get downfield, throws the space. Good job. Here's a good play by Purdy with his legs. Nice pump fake we'll see here. Gets up field, finds grass. Uh, a deceivingly good athlete who, who can hurt defensive with his legs. And uh, again, like we talked earlier, part of his game that separates him and helps him be one of the better quarterbacks in the Big 12. Let's watch it from here. Quick pump fake, Ooh, gets up field, makes a guy miss, makes another guy miss. Big gain there. So here's an interception by Brock Purdy. And it, it's part of his game that makes him so good, his ability to make plays with his legs and, and kind of go off script and make plays. But at the same time, it can also hurt him. He's had several, uh, several interceptions uh, trying to force something when nothing is there. So again, kind of cleaning up these plays where you want them to still make these plays, but just don't throw the ball. Maybe just run up there, slide, or hit the guy in the middle of the field. Uh, take what the defense gives you. Watch right here. Boom, hit that guy instead. Uh, so you want him to keep that in his game, but just don't force the ball downfield at times. So here's a, another example of Purdy trying to, to fit a throw that just shouldn't have been thrown. It should have been an interception. Uh, but again, what makes him good also uh, can have quarterback struggle at times is your confidence in yourself. Let's go ahead and watch this here. We'll see this tight window here. Tries to hit that dig route. So you got great coverage here. Also a safety coming this way. That would have to be absolutely hell of a throw to be completed. Uh, so you like the, the confidence in yourself at the same time, uh, not forcing throws. So just another example uh, of a forced throw that if you clean up uh, that throw, then you know Iowa State would be pretty good this year. They'll go as far as Purdy takes them, though. So here's a pick six thrown by Purdy. Again, just a ball that shouldn't have been thrown, just trying to force something there. As pressure gets in his face, tries to force it over here. There's a pick six there. So again, just a ball that just should have just eaten it, taken the sack, or, or see if there's a check down available somewhere else. Um, again, just some, you know, I'm sure Purdy, right when Purdy threw his ball, he, he knew he probably should not have thrown this. But again, just an area to clean up. Um, so just throws just throws as he gets pressure. Just kind of floats on him, and interception there. So again, just a few plays, but I think the game against Baylor does a good job of demonstrating Brock Purdy as a whole. Because we saw his talent in the game, right? We saw whenever he takes the defense, gives him, uh, he's able to move the ball downfield uh, through short plays that end up becoming big plays or opening up the touchdown pass that we saw and opening up bigger plays. And uh, of course, we saw his, his ability, to, his ability, excuse me, to use his legs running the ball and throwing uh, a throwing on the run. And we also saw what happens when he doesn't take what the defense gives him when he forces throws or tries to make a play that's not there. So if he can clean up that, he's got the potential to be really good in 2021. And Iowa State has, of course, a lot of potential to be really good in 2021. So we'll sit back and kind of just watch Brock Party in 2021. But again, the potential is there, and he could be one of the best quarterbacks in the Big 12 and potentially all of college football uh, with a big step. So that's it for the Brock Party breakdown. If you like the video, please consider subscribing. Like the video, comment below, all the fun stuff. We'll see you next time on the next quarterback-related video.